should be live, <coughs> I think. <coughs> Sorry. Let me check if we are live. Yes. I think so. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, as last night, we are um, about to go into a new mixing session tonight. I'm here mixing. And so, as we did last night, I am trying to stream my live mixing sessions. There's some troubles with the mute and mute mic. Sometimes it gets fucked up, but uh, um, I'm doing my best here. As in, I'll try to find a, a way to get on a hardware to mute and unmute my mic. But for now, every time I play Pro Tools, my mic mutes and it opens up again when I when I stop the playback. So we are taking this mix from where we left it last night. I hope you guys are around. Hold on. One thing that I have to do is to pop up the chat just because I am gonna write in there that I am not going to answer chat while I'm mixing. So, and if someone knows how to pin the my message here on the chat so everyone knows that i'm not going to reply the chat um while i'm mixing it would be appreciated if not whatever i will repeat it during the the stream but ervin um tiazi god i'm sorry i'm butchering your name yes there are tickets available for the berlin class Write to info rockstarstudio at gmail.com. There are some tickets available for Los Angeles as well. There should be a message um, with all the links, remomanagement.com for LA tickets and info at info rockstarstudio at gmail.com um, for the Berlin class. Yes, we have some slots available. Hello, o Overby. Hello, C. Venturer. Uh, should be in the menu on the right side of the chat. Okay, if there's such a feature. Yeah, exactly. I'm not I'm not sure there is, but I'll check and for now I'm just gonna write it here. I'm not going to reply. Well Adam, Michael, hello everyone. So I'm gonna now close the chat. Yeah, no, you didn't know I was streaming Herman because I'm not advertising these because they usually go to shit. So you're <laughs> you're yeah, aware of it. No, okay. Let's not listen to myself what I'm what I'm doing this. Okay, so I can take a look at the stream while I'm doing it. Hold on a second, guys. I'm gonna put it here if my fucking phone stays on. Okay, so, all right. So let me check if my microphone is on. Okay, now it's on, it should mute when I play. But um, yeah. So since I am starting the session right this second, I am going to listen what I've done last night, which hopefully is good. So we still need to finish this mix. Um, vocals is what we need to to finish. And I want it, in effect, I want it, uh, some sort of dark distortion for this song, for the for the vocals and. Last night just happened to be released a video from an amazing band, amazing band called Five to Ten that I mixed last year. They opened, uh, they were opening act for James Blunt a few days ago at uh, Pistoia Blues Flat Festival, and they they made a video out of that performance, an official video of the song called Another Way, and I was listening to my own mix and I said how. 
the hell <laughs> did I do that? It was actually very nice. But the point is she had, um, I did for her, for that vocals, a very nice distortion. And, you know, go figure, it is exactly the kind of tone that I was looking for this vocal. So I took a look at the session and I know what plugin I used for that distortion. And I'm going to try in this mix if it works or not. But let me listen to the mix, what I've done last night. Okay, I got an idea of what I have to do with the vocal. First thing is this background kind of bothers or something that bothers me. That's good enough. Okay, so there's um something needs to happen before 
the main guitars come in. So I think I will automate the level. We already mixed all the guitars yesterday, so I'm gonna automate the level of this one, which is pre-chorus. Here. Yeah, up until there. Maybe some effect needs to happen. Let's see if just the level works. The faces, nothing was like down here and yes this is good also i want these guitars automated and maybe this not so high a little less this is what needs to happen of course They go to this bus out here. I'm gonna check here and there if my mic is fine. So this is why you guys see me checking OBS. Let's come from a little earlier. The only problem that I have with this is they are panned 70%, which makes sense because I do have a, a delay on them. But if I don't turn, either I turn on, I turn up the delay too. I can try. Let's just copy the automation here on this. Since nothing was like hell. Yeah, it works now, it's even too high. Still, still, I don't like that it's panned that far apart. So, just for this bit, I'm going to put it back to. Let's try. I don't like to pan halfway, but this this whole mix is a little bit weird with panning. Let's see what happens if I put them there. I saw the faces. Yeah, I like it. I like it. 
but I also need to do something else. In this spot, I need them to have more bottom end, so I'm gonna automate this EQ. And hopefully will be enough. The idea is there. The boost is way too much, of course. So let's try this. Nothing was like Not bad. Let's get there smoothly. And it might be a little too much still. Because I'm cutting anyway, so it would be a 4 dB boost just to go 1. Let's put it just back at 0. Remove just the boost, the cut. Mike, okay? Yeah. Nothing was like Yeah, I like it. I like it so much that it can start earlier. I saw the faces, nothing was like Let's do the same in this part. So we got the boost. And also we have the panning to copy. So it gets... Okay. I'm not sure about the delay here. Not here. And the level. too but since here there's not the uh feedback guitar it doesn't need to be this high just a little more perfect perfect what happens here Ultra, same thing. Let's put it back at 30% for the panning. Actually, I want the end to finish in the middle. So, this part goes right dead center. Actually, do this. Does this work? It. And when the drums ends, let's boost the level a little bit. Can and
Okay, good. Delay. Mm, let's give it the same level that we have at the beginning. Not right away. And not at the end. And can go down. And not at the beginning either. So yeah, let us let let Eli start when he boosts the level. good vocals 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 needs needs work I'm gonna put a DSer on the single track. There's something mid that bothers me. That that is what bothers me. She's lit the gale through the window, rosy or sweet bit by the wind. In along the floor. What is there? Some phasing that I'm not liking it. In along the floor, she's lit the gale. Oh, it's this delay. Can along the floor, she's left the gale. Through the window, rosy will sweep it by the wind. Walk at midnight, what's a call? She does the purple blanket while branching of gold. better better there's no phasing and I had this water delay here I definitely do not need this on the verses if I have that one the throw delay though 
should be only on verses. That's the level of it. So quarter delay is on verses. Okay, so scratch that. I like this one for the verses better, and I really don't like this quarter delay. It's too midi. So let me do something here. I know one thing that my gate last night was way too high, so. Candle on the floor, she's left again. Through the window, Rosie will sweep it by the wind. Walk at midnight, what's a call? She just. Yeah. Oh, I don't need this quarter delay here. There's really no point in having it. It's a lot cleaner, the vocals, without it. What I miss is some stereoizing, which was this. But it was temporary. Candle on the floor She's left again Through the window Rosie will sweep which is not bad, it's just too boomy. Candle on the floor, she's left again. Through the window, Rosie will sweep it by the wind. Better. We don't need this much. Let me mute this delay. Candle on the floor, she's left again. Through the window, Rosie will sweep it by the wind. Walk at midnight. There seems still some kind of phasing modulation that I don't like at the beginning. I don't know if it's the vocal itself. Candle on the floor. Let's mute the effect. Candle on the floor. Yeah, it is. So I know what it is and I'm not gonna say it. it stays like that because I got it like that. Candle on the floor. She's left again. Through the window, Rosie will sweep it by the wind. Walk at midnight, what's a call? She just a purple, black and white grind chain of gold. In the mix. Kim on the floor, she's left the game. Let's automate this. Are we okay with the mic? Let's see. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Automate this feedback guitar at the beginning. Now, since that I use the throw delay as a verb, de as a verse delay, I need, first of all, a natural throw, which could be this. Let me see what 
what's the vowel sound? Okay, I'm not using this, so let's hear how this sound. I'm actually gonna write automation and then I'll tweak the sound if I don't like it. Too much. Okay, doesn't sound bad, just a little too bright, a little more diffuse. Still too bright. Let's just, yeah. It's going in that is bright. I can't run, of Better. More level, please. Yeah, it can be it can be a little bold but I'm actually still one more low end I can't run, of gold. and I don't need the sidechain compression because it's a throw I can't run, of gold. all right we got it more feedback Let's do the same. Okay, good. Something for the chorus now. Let's put the automation down. Okay, now I remember, for this album, let me see if my mic is on, yeah, for this album I have done something to the vocals that is unusual, so the lead vocals goes into my distressor first, but then after that, through the patch bay, it goes into the tegeler cream, so that's why I need to adjust the level because it's compressing it and I need a little more level and maybe a little bit of low end which I can give it with the cream.
am I'm good with this. I want something for these vocals for the chorus. What what do I have free? Oh. It's on the background. That's broken. Fuck off. Okay, so I'm gonna try a parallel. There is one channel, one doubling channel that I'm not using. That is already set up. Is this one with the micro shift? So I'm gonna bring it here and change this one. Let me save the project and use vinyl. I'm a down, we went so fine. You and I love and cry. You and I. I'm a down, we were so fine. You and I, we were free. I don't want warp. I'm a down, we were so fine. You and I. I'm a down, women love and cry. You and I. I'm a down, we were so fine. You and I, we were free. I'm a down, we were so fine. You and I. I'm a down, women love and cry. You and I. I'm a down. I need space. As in guitar amp. I need a cabinet. I need a cabinet. You know what? I like the sound of vinyl. But let me try this. Is my mic fine? Okay. You guys, if you are if anyone is on the chat, I'm not replying chat until I take breaks. Sorry. Because Saturn, anyway, it's got a power amp, lead amp, crunch amp, smooth amp. Let's see how this sounds. I'm a down, we were so fine. You and I. I'm a down, women love and cry. You and I. I'm a down, we were so fine. You and I. sure if I want this in parallel or not but I also need some kind of stereo -y effect well I don't need it I want it so I'm gonna try to let's let's go with the good old doubler I don't want modulation on it at all and then I'm gonna adjust the timing a little bit I'm a down, we were so fine. You and I. I'm a down, women love and cry. You and I. I'm a down, we were so fine. You and I, we were free. Doesn't sound bad, but at this point, since I stereoized it, vinyl should do. I'm a down, we were so fine. You and I. I like you better. I'm a down, we were so fine. You and I. I'm a down, women love and cry. You and I. That's nice. 
that's nice now the dry vocal is a little too clean from the verse to the chorus i want some sort of saturation on the dry vocal too not much but some some i need something with air tube let me try this no it doesn't have it doesn't have a mix knob fuck you i know i curse too much i've been told so i'm gonna try to not to hmm i can try the mjuc I'm not going to compress, but I'm going to just use the, the drive. I'm a down with way so fine. You and I. I'm a down with my love and cry. You and I. I'm a down with way so fine. You and I. We were free. A little too polite and I don't want to change the gain staging so it's nice don't get me wrong but I want a little more grit I'm a down we were so fine you and I I'm a down women love and cry you and I I'm a down we were so fine You and I We were free I'm a down we were so fine You and I I'm a down women love and cry You and I I'm a down See how it sounds in the mix. Can't tell. I'm a down with way so fine. You and I. I'm a down with my love and cry. You and I. I'm a down with way so. No. I'll try without it. Still not. I want it to be a little brighter. Are we good with the mic and everything? Yeah. A little bit brighter and there's there has to be more ambience for the chorus. I'm a child, we went so fine. You and die. That's better. So let me automate this. First of all, just on the courses, because I'll forget otherwise.
And then I need ambient, space, delay, reverb, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, good. How smart. I automated the, the other way around. Gotta love dump. Okay, now we're good. Now we compensate for the level a little bit because it's a little high. Still, still high. Can't tell anymore. I'm stupid. I'm putting this after, well, before the distressor. Of course, it doesn't work because it's changing the compression. So this is a this is a tip, guys. As you can see here from this insert, uh, this is my hardware distressor. If I put the isotope and I lower the level, of course, the distressor is gonna you know work less and this is this is why it wasn't wasn't working because i was lowering the level it wasn't going down the stressor wasn't compressing that ha as much so now we should be good Switch monitors. I'm in town, we wear so fine. You and I. I'm in town, we make love and cry. You and I. Okay, I like it. Now, I miss ambient around this vocal. Either a delay or a verb. I do have a verb, but I wanna, don't want to touch that. I want to add ambient to it. I'm in town, we wear so fine, you and I, I'm in town, we... You know, I have this quarter delay that I'm not using, I can redo this, even though... You and I, I'm in... Okay, this is the automation which now it goes the other way around. Stays up on the choruses. Let's copy this. And I need to go to the bathroom again. <sighs> Just so you know. Guys, there's going to be a pause if someone is online. But I'm not going to put these on replay, so I don't care. Oh my God, we went so far. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this MIDI thing. So let's let's scratch all this and hear how it sounds raw. I'm a down we were so far. You and I I'm a down women love and cry. You and I I'm a down we were so far. You and I
Doesn't sound bad. On my town, we were so fine. You and I. On my town, we made love and cry. In a mix. I don't like the timing. I touched the preset, didn't I? And it's not going back? Okay, it's going back. Not bad. I want it wider. I'm in town, we wait so far. You and die. I'm in town, we make love and crack. I need to. Move it a little bit. Offset. Okay, I want more feedback, but I want it out of the way when he sings. And if I don't remember wrong, I've already calculated the release time, which was around 400 for the other delay, so it swells up. Let's do the same thing here. Yes, a little too much. I'm in town, we wait so far. You and die. I'm in town, we wait so far. You and die. I'm in town, we make love and cry. You and die. I'm in town. Let's lower it down and we are about there. I'm in town, we wait so far. You and die. I'm in town, we make love and cry. You and die. I'm in town, we wait so far. You and die. We were free. Okay, that is fine. I want to try to put a reverb just in case I like it better. Let's put the chorus.
Oh my child, we were so fine You and I Oh my child, we made love and cry You and I Oh my child, we were so fine You and I We were free Oh my child, we were so fine You and I Oh my child, we made love and cry You and I Oh my child, we were so Oh, the mic again. Anyway, I was saying my default is at zero.
I, I think we are almost done with this mix. There's this vocal here. This. Which is not that great. I need to distort it and stereoize it and everything uh, to make it somehow sound okay. Uh, just gonna use an amp sim for that. What am I gonna do with it? <laughs> oh my god, my legs, my back, my everything fucking hurts. Today was a very hard training session. Not that you care, but what effect am I gonna use on this? This this scream here, pre-chorus. I don't know what to do with it. Some verb, let's try some delay on it. to automate the 
dry wet or uh, oh I guess the feedback and the dry wet I'm gonna go all wet here Then needs to be more feedback too. So the wise just cuts bad. Yeah, that's the idea. That's too much. Shut the fuck up. feedback the feedback how are we doing in chat is there anybody there I'm gonna go to the bathroom so this is fine safe let's close these let's keep it volume there reverb it can be a little brighter I don't care about anything else maybe just the source still a little more are we okay with the mic yeah
All right, that's fine. I'm gonna take a look at the chat and then I go to the bathroom because I'm pissing myself. Okay, chat, guys, how you doing? Yeah, I'm not gonna deceive into her. I'm thank you, but I'm not gonna take advices from other people's room. <laughs> Uh, who's the band they sound great the band is called 12 and yesterday we mixed everything else what to do when the kick feels messy on the room mic you cut the frequency out the room mic or you sidechain the around 400 500 with a multiband compressor uh, you have that band like a C6 or a Fab Filter MB Pro. You side chain it, you side chain that band, that range, low mid on the room mic, so that when the kick hits, that range get tucked down. Either the whole room mic or just with the multiband compressor that that range. I think the snare is what I'm hearing. It's so big. Yeah, um, this is this is this is how you know that I mixed. <laughs> because the snare is big good sound thank you Sebastian finally some low finally some lows on guitars um I think small music I think you missed yesterday when I said that the whole uh, audio coming to you guys on the live stream was passing through my filters <laughs> through my louder than lift off filters which had a low pass on a uh, high pass on so it's whatever it's cool now yeah I like guys how no look I don't think any any other I, I haven't seen any other engineer to broadcast a mix while he's doing it you know why because most time well let's say the whole time until the mix is done the mix has something wrong Otherwise, it wouldn't be, you know, <laughs> it wouldn't be in the working. So I appreciate the comments and everything, but I'm doing something that I've never seen any other mix engineer do, which is show their mixes while they are working, like a, a Wednesday night. So this is not, you know, something planned or I open the session so that I can look good. I don't need to do that, you know, um, I don't care and I don't need to do that, as in, this is what it is, this is actual work. So the mix is always gonna have something wrong until it's done. So yeah, chamber reverb, yeah, maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a listen to that reverb again because I'm not sure about the, the plate. Do I have the plate there? Yeah, I have a, a, a plate and you know, a chamber might be a good idea. Over B, thank you. If you'd like the stream. How about a foot switch on the mic? Uh, no, I can't bother. It's either going to be this way or it's going to be me not talking or this, you know. It's unless, you know, I get, I don't know, no. Thank you, piping photography. So... Guys, I'm pissing myself. So I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick and then come back and close this mix and open the new one. Thank you. And since we are here, well, it's already early. It's still early for me, so I can work a lot more tonight. But I need to tell you guys, um, to remind you that, you know, there's my masterclass, my mixing seminars in person in Los Angeles, California, LFX Studios, LAFX Studios, blah, and Schweiger Studios in Berlin in, the, in Los Angeles is in August 21st, and Berlin is in September 21st. There are still some tickets available. Um, then what else? Nothing. Spread the news if you guys, you know, want to help me out. Um, there's a video on the channel, me announcing the 
classes. Dave Pensado told me to hit him up when I'm in LA, so I will obviously do that. And I'm gonna give him a call and see, you know, if I can meet the man for a coffee. It would be great. Um, so yeah, there's a video announcing the class. If you if you want to help me out, just share that video. Let people know that there are my seminars in Los Angeles and Berlin. And yeah, I'm gonna be back in a minute. I'm gonna write this in the chat that I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> not going to be these streams are not going to be in replay guys so just so you know <laughs> yeah definitely i will and um i'm also because of my health i need also to send another message which is to somebody to a person and that is mal uh mal if you are watching me and I'm not replying your messages, your texts. It's because my phones are filming. And if you guys are asking why I'm saying that, it's because she if she gets mad, she could stab me. Like for real. So I'm gonna be back in a minute. I'm gonna mute the mic and we'll keep mixing while I'm back. Right in the chat anything you want in the meantime if you want curse words anything
back. So I'm gonna just listen to the mix walking around the room from the beginning and see what I feel. Something is on on the vocals on the verse that shouldn't be on. So let's check that. Or is too high a level. Along the floor, she's left again. Through the window, rose you sweep it by the wind. Yeah, it's this, which is for the choruses. I need to automate doubler vocals. What is it? Is this? Can't long the floor. She's left the game. Yeah. Yeah. So only needs to be on on the vocals. On the chorus. So down. Down again. Can't long the floor. She's left the game through the wind. The rose will sweep it by the wind. Walk a midnight. This one too. This one is also only for the choruses. It's just dark dist. Same thing. Go away. distortion vocals on the verses so I'm gonna turn the volume of it down and it's still a little harsh along the floor she's left the game through the wind the rose you sweep it back along the floor She's left the game through the wind the rose was Yeah, I need to run something on it. Okay sound. Let's try smooth. Is my mic okay? Yeah. Can't on the floor. She's left the game. Through the wind, the rose will sweep it by the wind. Can't long the floor, she's left the game. Through the wind, the rose will sweep it by the wind. 
It's just a level thing, I think. Just, just too loud. Especially the first one. Can't lump the floor. She's left the game. Through the window, rosy was sweeped by the wind. Walk at midnight. What's a call? What about giving it the reverb that we have on the choruses too? It's a little dry. Can't lump the floor. She's left the game. Through the window, rosy will sweep it by the wind. Walk at midnight. She just a purple blanket, one grand chain of gold. The last delay, I like that it needs to. I want more delay on this verse. One grand chain of gold. Is that, is that one? That one stays. But I do have a river, a, ver, a delay on the verse. I know. Can't lump the floor. She's left the game. Through the window, rosy will sweep it by the wind. Walk at midnight. What's a call? She just a fearful blanket. Can't lump the floor. She's left the game Through the window Rosie will sweep it by the wind Walk at midnight What's a call? She just a purple blanket Can't lump the floor She's left the game Check this one on headphones. She 
That this delay here, what is it here? This one on the courses. So let me bring it up.
fucking killing me. Sorry, I curse too much. That bit needs some effect. I'm gonna think about it while I write the delay. Of course we're not good with this fucking microphone. sure that that needs some effect maybe I should maybe I could just automate the level of one of the stereo we thing this do I have some something stereo -y somehow somewhere I think I do have a, that kind of effect Fuck if I find it, but I have it. Doubler. Not that one. Sounds fine. I don't need to do anything to that too much. Let me see the output general bus for the effect. Spectrum analyzer for the effects. Last thing is that solo lead guitars. It's just 
chest level, I already mixed that last night. Something scratch. This is exactly that. And I think it's... Yep, there's a saturation on it, so I'll just remove it, I don't, it's not, it's not that important. Oh my god, my phone rang. I hope it's not her getting super pissed at me. Why the bank is not working? Dude. Personas, send me another one of these because this is not working anymore. Well, I can't bother right now. Give me that solo. I write it manually. Jesus, one one time that I need it doesn't work. But the solo is a little too eighties. What is in there? That delay, that delay needs to go. I want the solo a little more raw, not, I want it more, less stereo-y, more, you know, mono, solo delay level. So this is why it's too much because I'm sending it because I copied this from the other project and I'm sending it twice. Okay, if I mute this, shouldn't be no delay. bad it's just way too fucking much
about to print this mix, the only thing that I don't like is this. the ending okay we're good one last thing is I should probably turn this up. Should have done this before. The rim stick. What if I copy this and I can find a trigger really quick? Oh my god, my phone messages. I think it's her. Shh. I need to I need to look. Oh my god. Okay, I really hope she's watching. Um while I'm I'm live. That's why I'm not replying to you. Don't don't kill me. Stick sample for this snares. What we have? Twack, no. God I don't know where I have them. Uh, where could I have a stick? I mean, I could open. <sighs> snare, snare, snare. <laughs> rim shot. No, no, side stick. Not rim shot, David. Yeah, even not. Okay. Why am I on headphones still?
What's happening? Okay. That shouldn't happen. Wow. I don't know how this happened. Okay, the streaming is actually, I have no idea why there's waveform apparently on the screen, so what do I know? I'm trying to figure out, I might have to restart the computer and stop the streaming, so let me see the chat. No, I'm just mixing. I didn't record any of this. Thank you guys for loving the kick and loving the bass. Uh, yesterday session, we automate the bass level a lot to make it sit like that. But now I don't know why this streaming is, th there's this weird image is on. So I need to stop the streaming right now and start it in a second. But yeah. I don't know what the hell happened. Okay. Okay, so. It's okay. We can. And just re-add this. Deal with me for a second. I'm gonna be back to mixing. Okay, we should be good to go. I'm gonna reply a couple of questions in the chat. Uh, we are we are good. Thank you, David Ops. Uh, I don't know why one the one of the texts was fucked up. Uh, we plugins are floating on the screen. Yeah, I know. Shit, right? Okay. So just you know, if you guys didn't 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 watch the last night streaming, um, this is the automation for the but for the base. You know, see note by note. I automated the level. The red tracks is the base. So that's why. And you know, keep in mind that it has, excuse me, my distressor, which is compressing it. And then it also has the Nova taking care of some notes. I still think the vocals is a little too high in level. Can along the floor, she's left the game. Through the wind, the rose is sweeping by the wind. Walk at midnight, what's a call? She just a bubble. 
also the delay is a little too Okay, that side stick. Let me tweak it just a little bit. Goes to the snare verb. Let's. Holy shit, that's a lot. I'm gonna print this mix because I'm done with it. I was saying, goddamn Mike, I'm gonna print this mix, mix is done, I'm gonna print it and I'm not gonna have you listen to the mix while I'm printing it, so I'm gonna, you know, listen to it myself and reply some of your messages in the chat, can I do that? No, because if I listen to the mix, you're gonna hear it through my mic. All right, then. I'm going to read questions on the chat while we print the mix. So.
the darkness where did we wrong She was in me She was a crew I saw a lot of faces nothing was like to lower the level in the vocals in the verse oh by the way i was reading that nevius guy um appreciate the feedback i don't give a fuck because <laughs> i'm mixing it not you but it's okay as for a too compressed bass i would really kind of love to know what's the sound of a too compressed bass it's you know the, like the level is automated by hand so it's kind of not fitting comment on it but anyway vocals and she loved it volume I can hear it a bit too much and I'm just gonna cut some and she loved the door walk to the road I saw her running through the dark okay let's print again
Thank you, Mike. I hope you can hear me over the really low level. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Slide. Do you ever write Master Fader to get some? Yeah, absolutely. I do, I do. Hold on, I'm freezing my ass off. I do write uh, the Master Fader and I have two ways of uh, writing the Master Fader. One is um, before or after compression. When I was using only comp a compressor on the two bus, I was riding into the compressor more often. Nowadays, I don't that much because before the compressor, I have my Neve um, 542s. And if I ride the level going in, you know, it, 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 it can fuck things up. And also, if I have my Master in EQ, which is on my two bus too with the transformers on the saturation changes too much so i always if i ride my master right now i do it after the chain in digital uh, okay we are done with this so I'm going to save, rename and export. And I should reply my messages because I'm really risking to get stabbed. Okay, so this is today mix Christ Crest Factor. Just a little less than my usual, but I like the punchy drums in this, and the arrangement is really minimal, so this is you know it's good enough. And I'm not going for stupid levels, like at the end, I'm not going for crazy levels like RMS, you know, not for this album, it's not needed. And unless i'm asked to do that i don't do it you know i don't i don't go stupid loud if if i'm not forced to do that so i think i have the mastering session here can use that one Okay, so these are all the prints, the previous prints. I'm gonna just import today's mix, which is called Anytime in the project. I was a little hot today. Okay, I can run this through you guys, I think. I need to send this to these two. Yeah, okay, okay. So,
just a tad more low end. Let's do 40. Just you know, one DB is going to be fine. A little tighter. So, uh, I'm using my first processings. Well, if I don't have anything to do to it, which I don't in this case, otherwise I would use Ozone Dynamic EQ. But let's see where we are with the level. I'm using limiter number six as first slot, and I'm using Patchwork to run VST in Pro Tools. No, they're not good. Okay, I was saying I'm using patchwork to run limiter number six, a couple of dB of gain reduction, and a little less than a couple of dB on K clip. And I'm gonna try ozone maximizer first for my final limiting. gonna keep the level low for you guys because I don't want to blast any any one system I'm gonna go for 0 0.2 as a final level can do two things I feel like doing one is this how are we okay
second one with the dynamics. I want to go in mid side and just keep the vocal a little down in the mid. Now, this is something, you know, it can be useful. So what, I'm what I want to do here with this master is I want to keep the vocals a little tucked down in the mid channel, not on the sides. But I don't want the compressor to react to fast events like snare. So the fix is fairly simple. We keep a slow-ish attack. And a little bit of knee. Okay, one thing I'm listening to the sides of this master, and you know, there shouldn't be really anything here. So, for all you guys that cut with mid side EQ, all you need to cut the sides, you shouldn't have low end on your sides when you're done with your mix, otherwise, it's questionable, but yeah. You know, this is at 140 and there's some bottom end from guitars, which is fine. But other than that, yeah. But anyway, this is it. You're good. You and I, on the down we, could we are about minus seven, which, like I said, it's fine for me. I'm not going for stupid levels. And we are. You and I, a couple of dB. I mean, I can go probably half a dB more. Still 
sound the same. Dieter is on. Chat was in chat. So what's to what DB level do you print? Yeah, <laughs> I just answered. Am I and what? Yeah, okay. What do you listen for when you solo mute band compressor? Do you listen for nothing spike badly? Well, in this case, it's not that I'm that I'm opening the um, multi band compressor by default. I noticed that I could use a little more control in the high mid range, specifically on vocals. So I opened the, the multi band compressor because I hear something that can be better. In this case, you know, the overall track could be a, sitting a little better if that mid range. But um, it, mostly, when I when I hear something that pokes out, I open um, dynamic EQ instead of a compressor. A compressor in mastering for me is for slow. Well, yeah, for for slow long long term events like the vocals. If I have a, a, a hi-hat or a snare that pokes out something transient I I rather, I mean, I could use a compressor, but the limiting is gonna, it, it, is gonna take care of that level-wise. What you want is not to have too much of that frequency so it, it distorts in a bad way when the, when the limiter hit it, but, um, what interface do I use? I have solid state converters with RME cards. Do I ever provide stems or acapellas instrumental if I am asked for them and I'm paid? Yeah. But yeah. Only only if that's the case. Hold on guys, I need to Fade and rename. Done. So this mix is done. What time is it? I need to answer my phone or spare to boost a cut. Mm -hmm. Depends. <laughs> sometimes one, sometimes the other. There's absolutely no better, no best. If you need to cut, you need to cut. If you need to boost, then boost. This is, this is, you know, there's no, whoever is gonna tell you that, you know, one is better than the other, it's just bullshit. You know, sometimes you need to cut, sometimes you need to boost. <coughs> um, you know. So, next song. Let me see what I've done so far. Okay, I can do this. Am 
actually gonna start from that template yeah why not I need to reopen the project and start from that template and I need to answer my phone god damn I can't sign in in here <coughs> So the next song called Mother 142 Thank you guys and welcome. And yeah, nobody ever, ever, ever done this because <laughs> it's not something you want to do to show your mix while you're mixing. I was talking about this earlier. Nobody does that because your mix is not going to sound okay until it's finished. So who in the fuck wants to... <laughs> you know have the whole world listen to their mix until it's done but i happen not to care and i rather you guys you know if you can learn something from it if it can be useful what do i care i don't have to you know i don't have anything to i don't know i'm not cool anyway so what changes <laughs> all right so as you can see, I opened the previous mix because this is an album, so all the tracks are recorded in the same studio by the same people. And that was my fifth mix, I think. So I can use, you know, the, the previous mix as a template to start the new one, and we are just going to import tracks in it and tweak it. So this new mix is called Mother and I have the tracks in the clipboard. We're gonna just import. Well, first of all, we change, <coughs> sorry, my mic on, yeah. BPM to 145 and start importing tracks. Chat needs to go right now. So I'm gonna quickly import the tracks and then we'll probably keep going tomorrow with this mix. But yeah, we have a bass cab first. Bass DI. One thing that I know already for this bass compared to the other one is that I don't want the distortion on it because it's already pretty distorted and it's got not much low end. I'm gonna bypass, bypass that too. And let me check what I have here. I need to change the amp. Which is here.
better starting point. We'll keep going later, but. This one just might be some e straight EQ. like that right now and I want to mix the bass without anything else in it but it's a better starting point that cabinet needed to be changed background vocals let's import those in I have first pair Okay, again, we are starting from the previous template, previous mix. And I deleted, of course, all the automations from the other mix. So all the level are at one, you know, basic level, which, you know, I will adjust tomorrow when we finish the mix. Well, love is God, these vocals need to be cleaned, all those breaths. I'm not a fan of that. This is another background. Yeah, I will treat them as background. So I don't need those two tracks that I had just opened. I'm still gonna get in trouble for not replying my phone. So we have floor tom. How's my mic going? Okay. Floor Tom. There. Our change, nothing left, so let's easy. Get away. I'm gonna mute the lead vocals for now. It's amazing. Guitars. We have same as the other songs, pair of Performances recorded with 441.57. Well, we have another part with the same mics. We have a lead, 57 and 441 again. I'm gonna forget about these. This is the effect that I use in the other mix. And I don't want to use the same here, so I'm not putting them here. Should have another lead, which I use in another song. This. Let's 
let's go into the solo sum which is mono there good this I don't need Let me lower this delay so I don't forget. How are we with the mic? We're okay. And we had the drums, hi-hats to bring in. And tomorrow we are gonna trigger. We're gonna take some samples from Spirit Drum. Drummer 3, which a video is out by the way. Just released tonight. And I used Spirit Drummer 3 for this album for samples of Kick and Snare and Toms. Mono Room. Where is it? vocals are gonna have some nice banding tomorrow I already can tell and can imagine how it's gonna be what time is it it's not too late but I'm a bit done because you know to be honest guys to mix and stream it just takes a lot out of me and um, so I hope you guys appreciate this even just working with these two windows on my Pro Tools is distracting and anyway I hope you guys like it and um, yeah um, let me reply a couple of questions if there are I don't want it's a bad thing to watch someone mixes the song well Petri, it's not bad for you guys, it's bad for the mix engineer. Most mixing engineer will not have you listen to their mix while they are doing it, you know. There's a lot of reason because of that, which I'm not gonna... Which I personally don't care. I don't have a status to keep, you know, I don't, I'm not... A famous mix engineer that needs to always to be perfect and never makes mistakes and everything I do make mistakes and um, I don't have such a high status you know where if I fuck up something I'm you know something I'm gonna lose work or you know I'm gonna lose money and I'm, I'm good <laughs> I'm booked since 2020 <laughs> so I'm fine 
you know, and I'm doing okay, and yeah, so, you know, whatever, this is next step, I, and I had promised that I would have done, you know, live mixing streams, and I keep my promises, you know, even if it's, it's really hard, actually, for me, you know, j just, you know, not to have just Pro Tools in front of me is, is distracting, but hey, whatever, uh, thank you slide yeah yeah uh, all pretty much well not pretty much all but many bass usually they sound either way more distorted when they are in solo or they don't sound that powerful or you know especially the bass is one of those instruments that it masks things and it gets masked like the distortion on bass gets masked very easily you know because of the guitars because of the drums and bass masks other elements as well so it's really one of those instruments that you just cannot Jesus I'm boobs I'm you know falling out of my own tank top it's one of those instruments that you really cannot mix it when soloing it but at some point you kind of have you've been listening to basses that sound good in the mix in solo you when once you have done that several times you kind of know at least where the starting point should be in uh, that case that bass was like very midi and had you know no low end and probably i'm gonna add more later but yeah uh how often do i take breaks you saw me i took one break tonight and i've been here how long something like three hours something usually that's my break two and a half three hours um you bought the last edition of Pro Tools and and I don't ha you don't have AAX that's doesn't sound right call avid <laughs> free AAX plugins go to the avid site and they have all the AAX all the free AAX plugins in there listed there are not many free AAX but all all that are available are on the avid site go to avid.com pro, pro tools whatever they the, all the aax free are there where do i learn mixing in studios i started when i was a musician myself because the, the mix engineers at the time weren't getting the sounds that I had in my head. So I said, all right, you know, take a break. Let me try. And I tried from there and I started, you know, behind desks, which it's funny because I kind of started, you know, my very first gig, I would say was a Neve console from 75 was fucking amazing. <laughs> and I didn't even know what the hell that was thinking about that year la years later I was like oh my god I had that thing in my hand and I didn't even know what it was and the EQs were all busted up they oh, sometimes they made noises and you had to like you know punch them to make it stop raining yeah all right the 73 is on now 73 for this album has been on um, background vocals the whole time and I love it it's not 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 I just enjoy it but it's always on my mixes and the good thing about the 73 is that it's so versatile that you never know where it's gonna end it can literally end on the lead vocals on guitars on background vocals like this time and it makes such a big difference. Um, it's an amazing unit. 
is an amazing unit. It's a multiband compressor you can use as an EQ. It's it's awesome. You can you know mute and unmute and bypass single bands. It's great. The color itself, it's great. I always use the 1973. The funny thing is, you never know where it's gonna go. Like for MC Solar album, that went platinum, best album of the year, 2018, at the French Music Award, it was on lead vocals. Go figure. This one, you know, this album is on background vocals. Some other time can be on guitars. But yeah, 1973 is, is an amazing, versatile, good sounding unit. I love it. The speakers play a part in ear fatigue? Yes, they do. No, they do. Uh, they do, but they I don't I doubt they can control that like companies don't I mean, yes, they can write it down but for example My Adam a7s the one I mix all the time on They are fatiguing They are absolutely fatiguing. I don't care. I mean, I know and I keep my level down but compared to other speakers, they are very fatiguing because of the, the ribbon Twitter. Um, is, it's got such a tiny sweet spot when you, if you move your head, it, you know, you, you're not supposed to really. And because of that, it's so accurate, but it's so fatiguing. You need to keep your level down. And, um, but yeah, that's, that's the counterpart part. Usually a fatiguing monitor, it means that it's very detailed, that it's very fast. And this is what you want, you know. You also want maybe a pair of speakers that is a little more pleasant to listen to. But the the more accurate a speaker is, the, the more the more fatiguing is going to be, most likely. Because... It's detail, it's, it's a lot of stuff. And, well, yeah, it, all that detail gets fatiguing. Anyway, this is the tracks that we imported. And you guys can hear the drums, how weak is without the Superior Drummer 3 samples. Obviously because this mix is from the previous templ template, so it's set up in a way that he's waiting for the samples to come in, of course. You know, makes sense, I hope so. Uh, so, yeah. It's you're gonna see see we have a space for a kick track here We have space for all the snare and ambient snare coming from superior drummer Mono crush is ready to go Tom's trigger tracks and Their ambient they are gonna come from superior drummer 3 Which is here and by the way a video on superior drummer 3 just came out tonight on the channel so you can you know watch that and um what else nothing my master class uh give me a hand help out spread the news about the classes one in berlin 21st of september one in los angeles california lafx studios 21st of august so in a month pretty much there are some tickets available still one in Berlin is at Schwager Studios. Both LAFX and Schwager Studios are amazing. LAFX got a vintage 40 channel API console. The seminars are in person, guys. So, yeah, everyone in the area come by and we're going to do some work together. Thank you, Adrian. Yeah, uh, one of my A7s just blew up the transformer last week. Ten days ago, I replaced it. Rocket 8, I don't like it. 
I don't like them. But it doesn't matter if I like them or not. If your mixes translate well, you can mix on, you know, a transistor radio. Monitors have a function. The function of monitors is your mixes need to translate outside. You can use a 10 grand monitors to do that, or you can use a 200 bucks monitor. <clears throat> it does not matter if you get the job done. So I personally don't like the Rocket 8, but it's me. A lot of people doesn't like the A7s. It doesn't matter. If your mixes translate, your mixes translate. Use whatever works for you. You said, um, uh, how that goes, does label artist bands rock mixing session that early? Well, they book me. Um, I, I have 2019, 2019 pretty much at least one, two albums every month. So I could just do that but I'm gonna get more, you know, singles and, you know, I probably have more master class and, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I have, I, I, you know, you, I never, if I can remember uh, only few times I mixed one single or one song for an artist or a producer. I don't make, I don't work for with independence that much. And then I, it was just that. Usually producers and artists and labels and, the work with me once they work with me was they they've always been stayed with me over and over like during the years so you know every time they produce something i mix them every time you know a band that i mixed that doesn't have the same producer but they liked my mix just happened last week they you know they they they're asking me again if i can mix the next album if and if it's with with a different producer so this is how it works. Um, I don't know. I don't know how it works for, for others mix engineer. This is how it works for me. I have a pool of clients, not in very little independent artists. I don't work directly with artists. You can see there's nobody with me when I'm mixing ever, ever. Like I only speak with the producer. I don't speak with the band. The band cannot speak with me. The artist, very rarely can speak with me while I'm mixing. How do you fix messy snare and kick on the room mic? I don't know. Um, use samples if you can. You fix it with EQ. If there's, you know, messy means probably has got some cardboardy sound or uh, it's you know just doesn't sound that great because of the rooms got some resonances you just fix you don't fix the kick and the snare in the room mic you fix you fix the room mic track and you do it with the cue usually if it doesn't work you just replace it with samples it, the problem with room mics and room tracks is if they sound bad to begin with, it's really hard to fix them because you should use a room mic and a, and a room recording if it sounds good. If it doesn't, what the fuck are you going to do with that? <laughs> you know, there's so many samples. Superior Drummer 3 is amazing for room mics, you know, to give, to add room sound to kick and, and snare. I have a video on the channel exactly on how to do that and I'm not gonna waste time trying to fix a shitty room mic if I can replace it with a great sounding one why would would I want to do that you know there's no reward in using the tracks that you're given if they don't sound good to begin with so anyway I'm gonna cut it here because I have all the tracks imported for the next song and tomorrow we're gonna replace the drum and start mixing it and yeah thank you guys for being around um, 
this, all this is not, well, last night replay is gonna go online. This one, I don't know. But uh, yeah, please share, share the news about the classes, the new videos out, follows on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. There's a lot of things that are not on the channel, pictures, live feed, short live feed on Instagram specifically. And um, what else? Nothing. Some tickets are available. Thank you guys for being here and see you next time. <laughs>